Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists and finally with the start of the tournament happening and all this build up for the Universal Arc we will be having this epic matchup of all the top fighters from many of the universes and all the gods and everyone that is important there to witness this historical event take place on the grandest fighting stage created by the Grand Prix. So while everyone that is important and in the world of the Void isn't this the most perfect opportunity for a villain to make his move? I mean, if you're a powerful evil villain with plans of universal domination, it's very convenient to have all the most powerful fighters and gods all in one spot to finally launch your plan to take over. This is the moment you have been waiting for. We recently have gotten hints by Whis that there's a mortal that exists that even a god of destruction can't defeat. So there are some powerful fighters out there yet to be discovered. So I believe that somewhere during the tournament at the height of the competition we will start to get some scenes of the villain of the next arc making his move. I did say final villain in the title and I think there is some truth to that in being that we know that Dragon Ball Super wants to eventually meet up with the ending of Dragon Ball Z. So the Universal Arc will most likely be another 15 episodes leading to the main antagonist of the final arc leading up to the introduction of Oob. Don't worry though, this show is massively successful so after that timeline from the ending of DBZ happens and we meet Oob for the first time, I think yet another arc will begin, however that will be next year sometime. So plenty of Dragon Ball Super will be left for us and I couldn't be more excited about the direction it goes and what we still have to learn as so many things are still unanswered. However, this Universal Tournament will start to answer some of those questions. We will see new transformations from Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta. We will see how powerful Jiren and other Universe fighters are. We will learn how everyone matches up against the gods and probably start to get some backstory into Zeno and the Grand Priest. Then, as the tournament is concluding, the villain, who has been waiting patiently for who knows how many thousands of years for an opportunity like this to strike. We still have much to learn about the world of the Void and how it works. Can this talented, powerful new villain somehow seal everyone in there for a period of time? Or with everyone that is powerful out of his way, can he finally take action on his devious plot? So tell me what you guys think. If you are a powerful villain, do you think this is the perfect time to strike? Do you think the tournament will finish before we segue into the next arc? I always love to hear your theories in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel and keep those theories coming.